Welcome to Coronation Street. By 1968, the residents of the street have seen many dramatic changes. Len Fairclough, now a widower, is a councillor. And he has a new partner, Jerry Booz, who's left his wife, Myra, and returned to the street. David Barlow and Irma Ogden are now married and have been running the corner shop since his football career was ended by injury. Ina Sharples moved to St Anne's to look after Mr Foster, a friend of her late husband's, after the Mission and the Raincoat Factory were demolished to make room for Maisonettes. Linda Chavesky has returned from Canada. Dennis Tanner's latest girlfriend is Jenny Sutton. And Emily Nugent has a gentleman friend, Miklos Zadik, a Hungarian building worker. For Elsie Tanner, life has been anything but smooth. She's back from the United States after the breakup of her stormy relationship with Steve Tanner. Len, as usual, is around to pick up the pieces. With Len's help, Elsie did pick up the pieces again, as she had done so many times in the past. And her romance wasn't the only one to founder. Emily lost her Miklosh when he moved away. Ina has returned to the street, but David and Irma have left. They emigrated to Australia. Corner Shop is now being run by Maggie, Les and Gordon Clegg. Jerry Booth's also on the move. He's decided it's time for a change, but he has just one more duty to perform as best man as the street looks forward to another wedding. This time it's Dennis who's on his way to the registry office with Jenny Sutton. Dennis did come back for Jenny and the couple moved away to settle in Bristol. The new block of Maisonettes are now complete and Ken, Val and their twins Peter and Susan and Ina are among the first residents. Len bought number nine from Ken and Val and the new residents of number three are Audrey Bright and Dickie Fleming. The Cleggs have had their difficulties since taking over the corner shop and while Les has been admitted to hospital as an alcoholic, Ina's been helping out. Meanwhile, Stan has agreed to give Elsie a driving lesson which lasts all night and Hilda can't wait to get her hands on the pair of them. The arrival of Effie Spicer on the scene caused quite a stir. Annie was less than pleased to have her around. She was Jack's old childhood sweetheart. Ken and Val settled quickly into the maisonette, but their life is about to be shattered when Frank Riley, an escaped convict, forces his way into their home while Ken is at college rehearsing a play. Frank Riley was recaptured. Val and the children were unharmed, thank goodness. But Ken took the incident badly. Formidable Effie Spicer found herself well and truly ousted by the even more formidable joint forces of Ina Sharples and Annie Walker. With this video, you've been able to relive some of the major events that happened in Coronation Street during 1968. Why not enjoy more highlights from the program's first 30 years by adding to your Coronation Street video collection? Why not take another nostalgic trip down the world's most famous street? Bye for now.